welcome to today's session. So today we continue looking at the 2022 GCE Mathematics Paper 1. So this is basically part 2. If you missed part 1 which covers question 1 up to 6, please look for the link below where we explain all the 6 uh, questions with the key concepts to apply. So question 7 is, for the sequence 5, 12, 19, find the A, 6 term, B, N, term. So for part A, so for, for, part B, for part A, we need to assess whether we have a common difference or a common ratio. So basically, between the first term and second term, we have a 12 minus 5, we are getting a 7. Then we have 19 minus 12, we are also getting a 7. So we have a common difference of 7. So we have established. So if the common difference is, we have a common difference is an arithmetic progression that we shall call AP. So AP basically is given by the first term plus N minus, which is the nth term minus 1, then multiplied by D. So in this case, the D is a difference, which is a 7. The first term in this case is a 5 plus then n minus 1 where we multiply by the common difference which is a 7. So question A is asking us to find the sixth term. So it's a 5 plus basically 6 minus 1 multiplied by 7. So we have a 5 plus 5 times 7. So 5 times 7 is basically 35 plus 5 which is basically a 40. So 40 basically is our answer on part A. Let us move to part B. So part B is basically asking us to find the nth term. So once we find the common difference and we know the first term, then this question becomes simple. So for part B, basically it becomes now AP is equal to uh, basically a 5, the, the first term, plus n minus 1 then multiply by 7. So this basically is the nth term. Okay, so basically what the key thing here is establishing whether this is the common difference or a common ratio. If it's a common ratio, you go for a geometric series. Okay, then let us move to question number 8. So question number 8a, question number 8a, is asking us is leads the distance between town F and town G is 8,100 nautical miles. If the plane takes eight hours, 18 hours to fly from G F to G, find the average speed. So the average speed basically is given by distance divided by time. So in this case, the distance is. 8,100 nautical miles, then time it takes is 18 hours. So here the key principle is remembering this uh, formula, which is the distance divided by time. So what's the speed? So we can simplify this. So what we know is 18 into 80. So 18 times 5 is 90. So eight, 18 times 4 is 72. So 72, so we have 4 times. Then we remain with a 9. So we put there 18 into 9 is 5. Multiply by this 10, we have 450. So 100, basically it's 450 knots as our average speed. That's for question A. We go to question B. So question B says, Tuta town B is east of A. Okay, town B is east of A. A. When it is 11 hours at P, it is 7 hours at A. A, which is in the west. Find the difference in, lo in longitudes between towns A and B. Towns A and B. So, what this tells us is basically, um, we know that 11, 
11 basically we know that uh 11 hours minus 7 hours we are getting basically a 4 hours that's the time difference so if we are moving from this side so now we know that the total uh, longitudes has got 360 degrees then we divide by 24 hours we get 15 degrees per hour okay so now the four hours so the shortest distance to give us the difference will be basically uh, four hours multiplied by 15 degrees which will give us basically 60 degrees that's the shortest difference so the other side which is the longest difference the longest difference it will be now basically 360 minus this 60 which is covered in the shortest distance which will have 300 degrees so basically the difference depends on so we have this is the 360 degrees so we have town a here then town b here this difference is 60 degrees the shortest then the longest side which is this side the longer side is basically the 300 degrees we are talking about so basically in this case we have two answers which is the 300 degrees or the 60 degrees so basically this is how you answer the part b so part b has got 60 degrees or 300 degrees depending on which route you are using whether it's the shortest or the longest aside along the uh, 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 longitude okay then we have question number nine so question number nine leads given that matrix c is equal to that find ct which is basically the transpose so what we know is we have c is equal to basically seven one two then you have three then four then five so when you're talking about the transpose, basically what you are saying is the column, column one, column two. So column one becomes column one becomes row one, then column two becomes row two. So in this case, we have a seven, then we have a one, then we have a two. So this one, which was a column, becomes a row. Then we have a three, then we have a four, then we have a five. So basically, this is the transpose then going to question b of number nine which says express as a single matrix so basically we are multiplying two matrices so we are multiplying a one by two by two by two so we are multiplying a matrix which is one basically one by two by two by two so we so the results basically becomes one by two so this one if you multiply what we are getting basically what we are getting basically it will be like this um so from one eight then we have zero two then minus one then so the answer will be basically 1 multiplied by 0. So it will be 1 multiplied by 0, then plus, then uh, 8 multiplied by 2. So basically this one by that, then this one by that, we add, then we move next. We have basically this one by, so it will be this one by that one, then this one by that one. So it will be basically 1 by negative 1, then plus a basically 8 by 5. So we are getting 0 plus 8, 0 plus, sorry, 8 times 2, 8 times 2 is 16, then this side we have negative 1, then we have plus 40. So we are ending up with nothing but 16, uh, 30, 
9 as our final answer. So this is the matrix that we are going to get as in the simplified form. So that's for question number 9b. So let us move to question number we move to question number number 10. So if you look at number 10, basically number 10 comes from a uh, area. So finding basically the area of a circle. So now what we notice is this is a very good question that would want to help us to. So that's we start with question number 10a. So number 10 says the probability of Kaskulu Kaskulu waking up early is 0 0.3. What is the probability that she wake up early? Okay. So this one what it tells us. So we have two possible outcomes. So let us say probability of waking up early. Then this side is not waking up early. So probability that's the Kaskulu wake up early is basically 0 0.3, which is basically 3 out of 10. 0 0.3 is somewhere 3 out of 10. Then what's the chance that you will not the Kaskulu will not wake up early? So basically is what it means, which is 7 out of 10. So, but the question is asking us, what is the probability that she wake up early? So, in this case, whether you are a male or female, do not influence. We don't know the proportion of who are male and who are female, unless we are to assume that they are all equally the same. So, basically, whether you are a female or not, you have the same probability. So, probably, the probability that... Uh, a student wake up early, basically, in a school, regardless of whether you are male or female, is basically 3 out of 10. Unless we were guided, what's the proportion of someone being a male or female? So this one is uh, combined. So basically, that's how you deal with this one. It's basically 3 out of 10. So this one is basically a giveaway mark. Let us look at question number 10b. So 10B, so 10B is asking us the following diagram shows a sector P or Q of a radius 6 cm, angle P or Q is equal to that, and the area of the same sector is 24.7 cm square. Find the value of P or Q. So we know that the area of any given circle is given by pi r squared. So what's the, the area of the sector? So the area of the sector is basically the angle over 360 degrees times pi r squared. So we know what the pi, we don't know what the pi is, but we know what the area is. So this basically tells us the pi over 360 multiplied by uh, the theta multiplied by the pi. This is the theta, sorry. Then this is the pi. So the pi we are shown 2, 22 over 7. We multiply by uh, the radius, which is 6 times 6. Okay. Then this should give us basically the area, which is 24.2. So basically, we just substituted the area. We know what the area is. The area is this one. Then we know what the radius is. This is this one. Then we are looking for this. So basically what I notice is I have the pi or the theta solely multiplied by th over 360 times 22 over 7 multiplied by 36 is equal to 24.2. Okay. Then I know this is 10, 36 into 360 is 10, then this one is a 1. Then I can divide this by 2, by I get a 5, then I'll get here 11. Then, what I have basically is, if I multiply this one, I have basically 11 theta over 35 is equal to 24.2. Then, I look for theta, okay? When I look for theta, make free, the subject formula, I'll end up with theta is equal to, Basically, um, 
24.5.2 multiplied by 35 over 11. So when I divide that, I will end up with basically 77. 77 exactly because if I divide 11, 11 into 24, I'll get basically 11, in, 11 into 24, I'll get basically uh, uh, 2 remainder, two, so I'll get basically a 20, 2 remainder, I'll get a 2.2. .2. So if you multiply 2.2, 2.2 basically to give me uh, 77 because 2 this is uh, this is 72 then point 0.2 is 7 which is 77 degrees as the value of uh, 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 theta or this angle that we are looking for